Hello everyone, welcome back to Rolling Solo. My name is Adam Smith and we're at the very tail end of the D-Day Dice uh, demo set here. I'm trying my best to get to the very end, but I think I'm going to die. But I'm here to record this and see whether or not I can actually make it happen. So here we go. Right now, I wanna make no mention about the mines. Now, the mines, how it works is once you cross a line with a mine, that's when the mines will actually force you to roll a die and take some losses. But so far, we've been moving in a lot, you know, across lines that do not have any mines. So we're fine up to this point. We don't have to resolve any mines. But when we cross this line next, we will have to resolve it unless I have a mine sweeper, which I don't currently have right now. But you can see if I did, it would help me out quite a bit. The other thing we're going to need when we move into that space is we're going to need a medic and we're going to have to kill it off to even get into this location as well. So we need to basically more focus on picking up four stars in this next round, which is going to be really tough. Because one of the requirements in solo play is when this symbol's here and it says max of one, it actually means you can only be in the sector for one turn. Now normally that's a cooperative type symbol for something different, but when you're playing solo play, they basically say turn this symbol into a max one being in this location. So I can only be here for one turn, even though the inside of this uh, area right here is white. So I can only be here for one turn, which is really bad. So we're gonna have to see if I can swing this. Now, the cool thing is uh, I do have four courage to still spend. Um, now, technically, I guess at the end of the last one, when I moved from here to here, it cost me three courage to do so. So this would now be reduced to one. But I, do, I did pick up the whistle in a prior round, which allowed me to move into this section without using any courage, right? So that's really good. But we're gonna start right now. We're in this location. I've already killed off my scout and there's nothing else to resolve. Again, I have the really cool uh, torpedo, which allows me to reduce everything in a sector to zero, but I have to take the sniper fire. So um, I'm gonna have to roll right now to find out what kind of damage is coming at me for sniper. And it is a three, so I'm gonna take that damage. So one away and then two away brings me down to four. And now we can go ahead and roll. And really what I'm looking for is stars. I need lots of stars, I need twos everywhere. And I got totally nothing like that. Um, I also need, uh, let me see, I need stars. I don't need courage. Yeah, I really just need stars. So I'm going to, what should I do here? I have to lock two dice. So I'm probably going to lock, let's go for people so I can handle damage because I think, I think that makes sense. Uh, let's see, courage tool, mm, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's not exactly what I wanted. I did get a two though, so that's one star. That's something. Uh, if I re-roll, I'll keep this, and for my last roll, I'll re-roll three of these. Ah, uh, no twos. Okay, so that hurt a lot. Plus, ugh, I landed one of these things, so it's gonna take away something from me. I'll use it to take away uh, maybe a courage, because I don't need a courage right now. So it'll give me one, and this will give me essentially a star. So we get one star here uh, that resolves that die. The three is a soldier, so we bump up to five. And these stand for two soldiers each, so that's going to be uh, four extra. Okay, and anything else I can get off that? No, I haven't gotten this bonus in a while, which is making me sad. Uh, and now we can go ahead and try to buy something if we want to. I still don't have enough stars to do it, though, and I'm stuck here, and I can move sideways instead of i can move this way you know because it only counts courage wise if i go this way but if i move this way it says i can't spend any items um it says i have to kill off a minesweeper if i move into there so that's no good um i might be in trouble here because i don't think i can go any further i think i'm kind of in trouble because i can't go back to any sector i've already been into but if i go backwards um, yeah, that's not going to work either because I've already been in this section, this section, so I can't, I can't go into something I've already been in. Uh, do I have, I don't have any way to, to get what I need there. I can move here, but I don't have the minesweeper, so I, and I don't have enough to pay for him. So I think, I think I, I think I'm dead in the water here. I think you guys are going to have to let me know in the comments whether or not I've actually uh, run out of, you know, movement. Uh, so this is, you know, and I'll show you guys the, the two ways that you can lose this game, which is very interesting. One is obvious. One is if you run out of men, that's the primary way you die. 
and I'll show you right in the rules here, it says defeat. So the game ends in defeat for the players if one of these two things happen. A unit is wiped if it has no more soldiers and specialists, which is not happening to me right now. But another one says a unit is forced to move and cannot do so because of sector requirements or lack of courage or other game effects. So as of right now, I can't move here because uh, if I move here, uh, really what ends up happening is if I move back, you can't move back. You can move sideways and you can advance. You can't go backwards. Uh, so I could go here. Problem is I don't have the minesweeper requirement, so I can't go there. I can't go here because I don't have the medic requirement. I have the courage. I have the whistle I need, but I can't move any further, guys, so I am stuck. So you can see, this is actually, I told you guys, I said before, way at the beginning of the first video, uh, that I made it from here all the way to here. I've made it here two times now. I've never been able to get past this line. Uh, it seems like once I get to about here, this is where things kind of fall apart. But it's really fun. And the thing is, you can see how quick it plays. You can just quickly reshuffle everything. You can wipe your cards away, wipe your dice away. And of course, you can actually write these in. I'm using dice over here. Uh, but again, you can get it up on the table really quick and try it again. And it is really fun to actually try to see if you can combo, uh, you know, because you're going for specific combos and they all have different advantages. We never saw things like uh, reinforcements. I think we saw once fresh troops we never saw, which is fives, uh, would gain five soldiers. That makes sense. Uh, or sorry, that was four. Uh, Battle Cry would gain you two stars, or if you move this turn, ignore all requirements of the sector. That's kind of something. See, and that's the thing, if I'd have been reading really closely, which I, you know, I didn't do, and I probably should have, I could have actually done that, and as an or statement, I could have actually just ignored all requirements to move into a sector. That would have been fantastic. And I probably should have gone down that road, but I didn't. Um, of course, I still would need three fives. And then special find, uh, it says when, let's see, pay the cost of points or gain four soldiers. So you really can gain soldiers off of the special find, fresh troops and re uh, re reinforcements. And the rest seem to come from item points, stars, and uh, things like that. So, and, you know, ignoring terrain effects. But I really like it. Again, this is a really, really short uh, version of the game. So whatever's on Kickstarter, I'm sure they're going to be showing off a much larger scaled version of this game. Again, another thing you guys never saw was awards. If you happen to gain up to six courage and you haven't spent it to move, you can get all these crazy cards like Metal for War. Each unit may ignore its final tally and change all the results. Or any one unit may move twice during phase five. It must spend courage if it advances. Or all units may recruit one regular or one unique specialist for free. Uh, add three results of your choice, one red, blue, and or white and blue to another unit's final tally. So some of these you're going to see don't really correlate to solo play, but some of them do, uh, and stuff like that. So again, what's, uh, what's really something to make note of, at least in the setup of things, guys, that I never mentioned at the very beginning was for regular items, you'll notice that uh, these, these particular cards uh, look like this. When you're going through your item deck and you're playing solo, there's actually more items involved and they look like this. I'll just try to grab an idea, a few of them. They have bullets on them and any ones with bullets basically mean if you're playing solo, you have to take those out of your deck. They're kind of like overpowered and they're more so for playing co-op uh, and stuff like that. So you take those bullet uh, icon cards out of your deck and you're left with just the ones without bullets. So that's something I didn't mention at the beginning because I wanted to jump right into the playthrough. But again, this is more of a Kickstarter preview of the game versus a showcase that I typically go into deep dives of the rules. So hopefully this gives you an idea of how this game plays. And if it interests you, that's awesome. Go check out the Kickstarter. The link will be in the description of this video if not some of the prior videos as well. I really appreciate all you guys watching and uh, jumping on board. If you've never actually subscribed to the channel, it's the first time you've been here, uh, definitely subscribe and join the community. It's growing every single day. You guys are amazing. And let me know in the comments below if you think this is an interesting game and you're looking to pick it up or what your thoughts are on the playthrough. Until next time, guys, keep on rolling solo.